I'm still suffering from some laryngitis. As I said, I would continue to preface any of my stories. I'll probably wait a few more days until this clears up before I do any more. This next story is called My Name is Tommy. My Name is Tommy is a short, scary story about a young boy who comes home from school one day and notices something strange about his family. My name is Tommy, and I think I may be going insane. I grew up in normal middle class home with loving parents and a sweet little sister. Everything seemed fine until one day when something very strange happened. I came home from school, and when I walked into the living room, I saw something that disturbed me. My mother and father were sitting on the couch, smiling and staring at the TV. The weird thing was that the TV wasn't on, yet they were staring at it intently. They both turned to look at me and simultaneous said, simultaneously said, hello to me. My heart leapt up into my throat. My name is Tommy. How could my own parents make a mistake like that? Is everything okay? I asked nervously. Everything is perfect to me, my father replied. They were both smiling from ear to ear. It was creepy. I decided to go upstairs to talk to my little sister. When I walked into her room, she was lying on her bed staring at the ceiling. Have you noticed anything strange about mom and dad? I asked. She smiled at me and said no to me. Mom and dad are just perfect. My blood suddenly ran cold. My name is Tommy. Without another word, I backed out of the room. She was still smiling at me as I closed the door. I had no idea what to do. I couldn't shake the sneaking suspicion that there was something wrong with my entire family. I went into my bedroom and tried to think. I heard my mom coming up the stairs. She went into my bedroom and closed the door. I decided to spy on her, so I went into the hallway and peeked through her keyhole. What I saw terrified me. My mother was changing clothes. She was standing with her back to me, and I immediately noticed something very shocking. Her skin was very pale, and there was a zipper that ran all the way down her back. Whatever she was, she wasn't my mom. That's when the panic set in. I ran down the stairs and out the front door. As I was dashing down the driveway, I looked back and saw my father at the front door. He was on all fours growling like an animal, howling and chasing after me like a raging demon. Since then, I've been on the run. All I can do is keep moving. Now that I know their secret, they can't afford to let me live. I keep moving from place to place, begging on the street for spare change. I tried to go to the police, but they wouldn't believe me. They said I was a runaway and tried to bring me back to my parents. I just narrowly, mar I just narrowly managed to escape. I tried to go to the media, but every reporter I spoke to just laughed in my face. I tried, I'm tired of running. I'm pretty sure they killed my real family. My only reason for living now is to get revenge. Can anyone help me? My name is Timmy.